beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs, whoa. <laughs> All Signs love tarot reading. Five of Swords, what's going on, Venus? And Aquarius energy, somebody, yeah. Well, I want to say saying some hurtful things, the energy around here of not so nice things, but this is also looking suspiciously like where things are, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. The Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, cutting the deck, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, what's going on here? Leo energy, somebody, look, holding on to the sunflower, which of course connects to Leo with the sun energy, which is connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. I mean, this is the queen of wands, just some confidence here to make what happen. This queen is wearing peacock feathers as a dress. That's around commitment. You know, they shake their feathers around to offer commitment. Isn't that strange? But here you have it, Five of Swords, also the Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius energy. Are you wanting, I don't know. I was gonna say, are you wanting to hear from this person? I think you do, but there's a lot of hurt here. Just even looking at our Five of Swords and look at this Nine of Wands today in your deck. There's like a whole bunch of Wounds kind of stitched up here. The rose is just being, the, th the branch is just going right through the rose here. A red rose in particular, which is connected to a passionate energy, connected to your love. So there's definitely somebody you have been keeping perhaps at arm's length or a distance from. Obviously, they're on your mind. And what's going on? What is this confidence around in our Queen of Wands? Okay, we're really early on in. Welcome to, welcome to your, it's, it's coming back in reverse. Welcome to your All Signs Tarot reading, your All Signs Love Tarot reading, All Signs Love reading. This is a collective reading, a love reading for the collective. There is no particular energy that I go in here with, whether it's a twin flame reading, soulmate is coming through, just... Whatever is coming through is coming through. I don't really know. So here we are today. It's looking like it's kind of intense. This is a timeless reading. Look, it's the emperor in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's been holding back some feelings. There's some arrogance here. The emperor, divine masculine energy. And the emperor is connected to the root chakra. And when that is not centered, when that is out of balance, not aligned, everything kind of is. Some dishonesty, perhaps things said, things not said that should be said. Ego, shadow. Yeah, so a lot of things can kind of go wonky. So we can already see where this is. And, you know, it's divine masculine energy. And, of course, that emperor in charge of that ankh in reverse here. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy in that ankh. It's just a validation that this person is, yeah, in some shadow and ego, has been in some shadow and ego. Look what's here at the bottom of the deck. The Two of Swords, Moon, and Libra energy. So what is this decision around? There's two birds here having a conversation on a birdhouse. You know, this is a rising above conflicting energy for me, and they're messengers, and there's two. There's a decision. They're on a home. So this could literally be representing a dwelling for some of you. It doesn't mean that. It's But we see a conversation going on here. And this is the moon energy. It's an emotional energy opening up. It's illuminating what's being seen. Well, <laughs> this is also Libra energy. Truth, balance, and renewal. So yeah, what, what went on here? And now we're also seeing... In our minor arcana energy of the Queen of Wands, that somebody's trying to get the confidence here. For what? I think this conversation, a very revealing conversation, and that Libra energy is connected to infinity, truth, balance, and renewal. So the truth about what happened while 
this person was, is in shadow and ego. And look what's here. The Seven of Cups sure looking like reverse to me today. It's feeling that Venus and Scorpio energy. It's somebody getting out of their commitment issues. Perhaps there are other commitments. Could be around a lot of things. Work, distance, other romantic connections, commitment in general. Somebody who's just afraid of it. Because they've definitely been hiding, holding and hiding back some feelings. So this person is getting out of that energy. They're getting some clarity. There was a conversation I feel like coming here. Okay. I have some oracle cards over here ready for you today that I was feeling. And one of them's already sliding off. It says release. Look what it is though. It's the moon. And look what's flowing. It's water. It's emotions. Yeah, I think this might this person might be coming in in the King of Cups energy here. This conversation, something's going down. Is there a release of what the connection? I mean, this is no contact, no communication, and or in separation. But look at the energy. It's the moon, which has already been quite strong. The moon around the emotions, the divine feminine energy there, the yin energy, and the release of that. Flowing, emotions flowing, being released. The love also connected to the divine. And it's the moon in cycles. Is it time here? Okay. So there's the seven of cups now. <laughs> Revealing itself in the upright and the seven of wands. Okay, there's something going on here too with you. The lovers in reverse. There is regret. This person has a lot of regret. Look, the chariot. Yeah, so they're coming in here and releasing literally the feelings that have been getting held back. And that's also including the truth. It's the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, Venus energy, the lovers connected to the heart chakra. Also, of course, Archangel Raphael, who lives here in the lovers card. Archangel Raphael is also connected to the throat chakra. I speak the communication. It's in reverse. They're regretting holding back feelings, regretting whatever went on here in the Five of Swords. This person may have outright lied to you about that. It could be something else too, in addition. Or truth by omission, you could say, like just not saying things. It's the same thing really as lying, and this is yours. The chariot is also here, so this person is definitely on the move. They are trying to get out of their shadow and ego here. Just even in our Seven of Wands today, Mars and Leo energy. There is, you're kind of, because there, there is this energy with you. It's like, what? Where are you in this energy? I feel like the arm's length kind of energy, not wanting to be hurt. I mean, you can see what went on. They have regret. The Emperor is in reverse. We know that they've been holding back emotions. We have the Five of Swords here. So yeah, I understand this. This is, it's that wounded warrior energy, you know, it's some, some defensive energy. It's, it's almost like, what do you want? <laughs> you know, like opening up the bars here. Look, tattoo of love on them. Obviously, we know what this is about. There is a skull here, bringing in the death card energy, Scorpio energy. So that's also connecting to the ego, something that does need to end here. Look at this. It's sort of like, well, are you, are you still coming in this energy or how are you coming in here? Kind of, sort of looks like it to me. But they also need to center this energy to really even come in an emotional, emotionally open and honest way. We need to dig in. And this card is just screaming <laughs> to be seen. The chariot here, Cancer and Moon energy. There is that Moon energy. Somebody is coming here to reveal some feelings, to reveal some truth. And by somebody, it's the person that is coming through. By the way, the Emperor, Aries, and Mars energy. And Mars, you know, is how you do things. It's an action. It's completion. And th it's obvious here that they've been holding back feelings, that there is a conversation coming here, just even in our birdhouse energy that we saw coming in. Snails pace energy here, too. You know, snails can go underground for, I think it's around two years. You know, and the time is relative. It's going to be different for everyone. They come up and they just go right back on course. 
the chariot is on the move here and it's going to change something. This could be a literal journey. So somebody could be actually traveling as in a snail. <laughs> Just kidding. Planes, trains, automobiles, you know, that sort of thing. But it's also the emotional energy. I mean, look, release, look at this. And here comes the moon. And that's what this emperor has been holding back. And you're, kind, you're over here, look. So there's some memories here too. Something was documented in a tattoo. And it's definitely an energy of discord, which they are regretting. That's the thing about the lover's card in reverse as well. It can be around some arguments, some discord, some choices that this person made. So there were things said. There were things not said. Definitely. And it's on your mind. You know, <laughs> there's a, a, there's a, I'm here to listen, but what do you have to say kind of energy? What do you have to say kind of energy? Because, yeah, release emotions. Here they come. And we saw them trying to get that confidence in the Queen of Wands coming in. And we see them here a little bit, a little bit fearful. Nine of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa, here's the Emperor again. So this is the thing about... The, this deck in particular, there is a divine, well, there are two emperors, you know, divine masculine energy for our emperor. There's also, well, you could say a divine feminine energy. There's a female figure here and a male figure here. This is definitely representing the two of you, but please know it's not about gender. This is just about the intense energy because they're, <laughs> look where it's connecting. So it's interesting because your person's energy is really quite strong here. And it's connected to the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Mars and Capricorn energy. And this is the person that's coming through here who was not, not holding up their end of the bargain. You were just putting in more time, more effort. It was one-sided. There's kind of like a breadcrumbing energy here. What can I say? So, and look what it's also connecting with the holding back of the feelings with the Nine of Cups as well really strong validation. This is a wish fulfillment energy. You know, things going well, it's one, one cup shy from our 10 of cups, it's in reverse. So were you in, had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Obviously something happened and a lot of that is around the emotions. 10 of cups energy, family energy, life together, but that could also be about introducing to families, blending families building a family, going exclusive. What does that mean for you? My throat chakra is starting to go nuts. And yeah, that's the decision coming through in that two of swords for somebody to come here and be honest about their feelings and what else. And what's interesting about our emperor energy, again, is it's two really intense energies. It's divine masculine energy, but that's about the energy, okay? And it really is connecting here with the Seven of Wands energy of you, of you actually being in this assertive energy, being in this upright energy of the Emperor. Of course, both of them cardinal signs, a leader, this Aries energy. So this is about that connection to the strength really to the intense energy of, yeah, but I need to hear this from you. So there's some two really intense energies. And that's, I want to say, connected, it's really clear, channeling that strong divine masculine energy, pretty balanced, like you knowing what you want, you knowing what you need to hear here. You have this three of pentacles in reverse, not communicating, not not working together on things. That's really just where the energy is right now, kind of where how you got there. It's a divine number, divine timing, communication. We know the lack of that. It's connected here to this emperor energy in reverse. Somebody ready, somebody not. Somebody available, somebody not. Somebody holding back, somebody not. I think it's obviously the person coming through here that's been holding back, okay? And that is a stop there. Page of Cups. Yeah. Some immature energy around emotions. Emotional, a lack of emotional honesty, a lack of emotional availability connected to the breakup energy or just, oh, there's some cards that are wanting to come in. Look, gosh, King of Swords is showing up here in reverse. Also judgment. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> so what I was saying, because there's regret here in the lover's card. And this page of cups in reverse, there is a connection to what happened to the breakup energy and it's the cups it's your love but it's connected to the emotions it's the holding back it's just really strong even here with judgment in reverse judgment is connected to the crown chakra i know and it's denial not somebody made a bad decision what they said what they didn't say is there something else here that that contributed to the no contact no communication and or in separation yeah Obviously, this is making an error, a big error, I want to say, in judgment. This is also some fear around kind of owning up to that. And, you know, it's both a validation here with our King of Swords in reverse, Gemini and Mercury energy of not communicating, but it's also a validation of what they weren't communicating. <laughs> it's emotions here. So somebody who has been holding that back, an emotional unavailability. Where is this going? What is this? This person obviously has regret and is coming here to share how they feel and share the truth and also what's been happening because they have been, and it's still a really strong energy that they're afraid. I mean, it's judgment in reverse. This is Archangel Gabriel connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra, I see. The self-awareness. So it's somebody here who, yeah, has been in denial, who has been, who is, I want to say actually now, afraid. There's the King of Cups energy that I felt. There's the Death card energy that we felt. The King of Pentacles, the Moon in reverse, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, they want to come here. And they're, they're coming in here without their ego. This is somebody who's coming in here without their ego, who's trying to get over their ego, actually, their pride, their ego. So there are some power struggles here, and that is just not surprising at all with our emperor energy here, okay? And five of wands in reverse, the moon in reverse, king of pentacles, death card, king of cups. We saw that coming. Knight of swords in reverse, seven of pentacles. This is your energy here seven of wands seven of pentacles around this person's energy as they come in and here's the other thing so we have the seven of pentacles the seven of wands that's 77 that is the energy shifting here it's re a realignment energy so it's both you here being sick of waiting seven of pentacles Venus and Taurus energy, because what are you waiting for in this energy? Reciprocal energy. You're waiting for the Six of Pentacles in the upright here, really. And it's around, of course, your relationship, commitment, contract, partnership, wherever you want to see that. But it's around the emotions around that in particular. And yeah, look, I mean, you're somebody sitting in a tree here, and we know this is not about gender. This person is sitting in a tree holding on to the other half of an apple, revealing the seeds. So where is the other, where is the other apple? Sitting here, kind of looking a little bit, a little bit melancholy. You've been waiting on this person. Um, you're sick of waiting, but you're also, when they are coming in here, it's sort of like, yeah, wait a minute here. It's still intense, but it, I just feel like it needs to be, they need to make this move. They made a bad decision. They do regret it. They're a, little, they're a little bit a lot <laughs> afraid here, but we also see just even in the Oracle that wanted to come in early today of what they are releasing. It's just been incredibly clear. And it's like these emotions, this truth, it has to be revealed and released in order for you to even hear them out and if things are going in another direction. So I'm wondering if this person has seen or heard something because you're... Yeah, the energy shifting for you. You're sick of waiting here. You know, look, you have the rake up against the tree. There's still a lot of abundance here. Flowers, growth. The tree actually looks really beautiful. So it's like everything that we built or everything that still has all this potential. I feel like it's recent for some of you, but it can we could be going far back as well because this is also just the energy that's currently here. 
and the apple revealing the seeds here there are yeah i mean that's the, the seven of pentacles energy look there's seven seeds and what do you do with seeds you plant them you plant the seeds you water the seeds you nurture the seeds you grow it's like i'm not i'm holding on to this here i don't know if i want to plant these seeds because i i i have and look look how look where we were look what the potential was and now i'm just here waiting so this reassessing energy, but it's also the person who's coming through here. This is also somebody who is trying to get steadier footing, who's trying to get balanced, get, get that root chakra literally centered here. And that's the other thing. So you're both here, but this is also their energy. So we can out see that there is like this going on. Because we see in the other emperor card who's here today in the upright that this is what they're trying to do get this centering energy here i mean and look what's even growing out of their mustache it's roots it's tree branches they're adorned with i guess that's like metals <laughs> abundance with those flowers there's a castle here which is of course where the emperor lives and that's the thing you know the emperor this is the four kings this here giving us the emperor energy there is the castle so it's like everything all the elements water air earth and fire and of course in the emperor in our fourth fourth major arcana here the four areas of support and stability mentally emotional physical and spiritual the four elements the manifesting energy this is somebody who is coming back in here but it's definitely intense this is representing your journey for me and commitment and grounding so whether that's again in that nine of cups energy whether that is an actual dwelling in a life and an extended family or we're just talking about talking again or going exclusive whatever it is it is here you're tired of waiting this person knows that they may have seen or heard something because they're also reassessing past actions getting their priorities straight and taking new actions here. This is somebody who, look, they're working out their feelings. We can see and we see what they are, that re there's regret here. And look at the release of that emotional energy connecting with the moon in Cancer, which is an emotional card, which is Cancer energy. It's the moon. It's the revealing energy around the feelings. It's the love. It's the emotions. And they're literally working that out, the five of wands in reverse. Saturn and Leo energy. So trying to get out of their head, solve some issues, coming here with the moon in reverse Pisces energy, Cancer and Gemini also coming through. This is getting clarity and truth, your person. And it's also coming through here around, well, it's connecting to the King of Pentacles. So to the commitment energy, to what you've been waiting for. This is this person getting out of the ego and shadow and here's the validation that i felt and it's here in the death card in order to working it out for themselves getting truth and getting clarity about what they want and we can see what they want here and we can see their feelings that they've been holding back another energy that was coming through really strong the king of cups Pisces energy the emotions that they've been holding back that they are about to release here it's really strong and the death card scorpio energy of course more water energy emotional energy what needs to end here their um, their ego their the, sh the shadow they need to get balanced they the no contact no communication but in order to even get there this person has to get their get their emotions straight get it straight what they want and be honest with you and this is something that it's really clear that they're doing there's a lot of regret for holding back those emotions <laughs> as i'm saying that you can hear my throat chakra it's connected to the king of swords in reverse because that's what they were doing i don't know it's like instead of telling you how they really feel which there's a lot of um, uh, feelings for you didn't speak them, held them back, and maybe other things that were said that were really hurtful. They are, they are afraid here. There is some fear around it. But this is also, when you get out of ego here, the death of the ego, you're getting out of shadow, 
And it's also getting out of fear because they're all connected. The transformational energy of, of the death card. There's the butterfly, dark to light. The communication, ending the cycle of just of where things have been. Is there something else that needs to end here? Highly possible. But what's coming through really, really strong is the emperor in reverse energy of what they've been holding back, which of course connects to kind of how you got here and why things haven't been moving and why you're in this no contact, no communication and or in separation energy. So here's more validation of it with our knight of swords in reverse. That's, that's actually over here because they regret that. Look at this. This is more of that energy. The, also the lack of confidence in our queen of wands around it of sharing how they really feel. So is this person, is there something in their life that needs to end too? And that's why they're afraid to really admit how they feel. Or is this person just afraid of all these feelings? Whatever the case is, they're here. It's clear. Boy, that <laughs> it sounded like a bad poem. And that's the other thing. So as they work things out in their head here, they're also wanting to work things out with you. They're coming in here in a really different energy, a much higher vibration. This is a second chance energy. And the King of Pentacles does have this on their mind. And that's here also connected to the Seven of Pentacles of what you've been waiting for. Okay, that's coming off. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see. Aho. So there's the manifesting energy. Freedom just came out. What is this freedom around? Maybe for some of you, I mean, look, look, <laughs> it's the death card. It's freedom. We're looking a lot of energy here that could also be for you that maybe you're not waiting anymore. That's definitely here. But what's been really strong too is what they've been holding back and what is getting released here. And that's the emotions. And this, and that's also upwriting the judgment energy. So this hot air balloon is above the clouds, the cloud of judgment, the bad decisions, the indecision, which we also saw in the Two of Swords. This hot air balloon is connecting with the divine energy, the timing. This hot air balloon is connected with rising above conflicting energy. There are two doves here. Lovey-dovey, you could say they come in pairs, and that is a, a making peace energy. A lot of things going on with that, you know, God, goddess, the universe, the divine. Look at the moon here, by the way. But what is coming through here as I, yeah, as I bring you this message is getting out of the fear, getting out of the ego, getting out of the shadow, getting out of their head, working it out as we saw in our five of wands in reverse and the moon in reverse, their feelings and releasing them. So that's incredibly clear, even with the moon within our hot air balloon here. And that's all stemming from the regret here that they have. And the manifesting energy has been coming through quite strong. So it's a really strong validation connecting here with our emperor that they are really hoping that this revealing energy is going to change some things because this is manifesting, this is manifesting you energy. Again, it's connecting with this emperor energy, but it's also connecting with the magician, Gemini and Virgo energy. And the magician is connected to the throat chakra. I speak. Hello. The, <laughs> the camera makes me crazy. So that is this person here who yeah, is literally taking that action, which is coming here to communicate, not in ego, not in shadow, and out of fear to share their feelings with you. We have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So it's both the emotions that our emperor in reverse has been holding back as they work all this stuff out in their head but they're also they also have a pentacle this king knows what they want to do with that pentacle they're coming in here with it it's a second chance energy i'm just wondering for some of you where you're at because 
the <laughs> my third chakra here is intense. It really, it really kind of, it feels like it has to be this person, like it has to be them coming in, which is clearly what's happening. But there's, there is some energy of shifting for you that maybe you are, you're really just tired of waiting and it's more than one foot out the door, you know? And that's the other thing, the Nine of Wands energy that we saw coming in is this person kind of picking up the pace because we see here in the chariot, the release of these emotions here, how they feel about you has been really slow. I mean, I think the snail has been underground as they do and, and picking up the pace is what they need to do because even though it's the chariot, you can see that there's a wheel on it. So it's making the snail move faster now. So there is this energy of maybe as they get this clarity and they work out all their feelings that they've seen or heard something around you, maybe even something you've said that has them a little bit panicked. Look, I'm not reading the oracle in reverse, by the way, but I want to show you what is here. We have awaken. Well, we have ego, awaken, record, and reframe. So <laughs> where do I begin? Here we go. Super, super strong. It's getting out of this. So I'm not reading oracle in reverse. It's but I tell you, <laughs> it did come in reverse. We already know that because we know it's what they're trying to get out of. So that's just a really, really strong validation. And it's also connecting here, look. To release the ego, release the fear, release, get out of shadow in order to release these emotions, in order to communicate, in order to rise above this conflicting energy, and in order for things to flow and move and find out where they're going because that's the other thing which where are we going from here energy so here's the awakening and that's what i've been feeling so strong is them uprighting this energy in particular in where did that go in our there we go in our freedom energy with that hot air balloon you know of, of literally connecting i feel here with archangel gabriel and owning it and getting out of the fear and the denial and everything that's here in judgment in reverse. Because that's Arch Archangel Gabriel. You know, that's connected to the crown chakra, I know. Archangel Gabriel connected to the sacral chakra, I feel. And the third eye chakra, I see. So here's the uprighting of that energy, the wake up energy. Because Archangel Gabriel is asking, what do you want? Get some clarity, make a decision. Seven of Cups came in in reverse with them getting that clarity. The Moon in reverse, getting clarity around feelings, working it out in their head. Five of Wands in reverse, wanting to work it out with you. The Two of Swords coming in to make that decision. The Moon in Libra energy to be clear, to be fair, to be honest. Because that is what Archangel Gabriel is asking. So this is definitely this lover here who's being driven. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, I don't want to say drive with regret, but they definitely have a lot of regret. So that's, and that's good, you know, because that's, we can see what they're coming here with, what they're getting out of, literally the death of the ego. What needs to happen here from this point forward? Archangel Gabriel here in the Awaken Energy. Is this closure or reconciliation? This is an apology too. It's asking for forgiveness. It's clarity. It's truth. It's exactly where I want this to be. So I'm really, I'm really glad about that. The reconciliation energy around your person is really strong. For some of you, I feel like it might be closure. You know, you have free will. Your person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. So where are you going from here? And where are you going together? So it's interesting. We have record and we have reframe. This is like, it really is trying to find another way to communicate. And look what, it, what it's doing. It's swirling around in water. There's fish. So also connecting us to Pisces, stars, Aquarius, healing energy, renewal, hope, clarity. There's the moon again. 
of course, the yin energy, the subconscious energy, the revealing of the feelings. It's just so clear. And there's house. So we saw that birdhouse and we saw the two birds having what could be an intense conversation, but having the conversation nonetheless around the feelings on top of that the person's head in the two of swords, which is the moon and Libra energy. So things coming out, things being revealed. It could be that there are dwellings involved here, again, actual houses. So if you can see this person in person, if you maybe even shared a home together, look where it's connecting with our King of Pentacles and our King of Cups. I mean, this conversation is all about this. But I know it's not in person for everybody. This can also just be around, obviously, your connection. And there's a it's a home that's a f familiarity. That's a my person that's, I felt safe with you. And then this, and I, there's a lot of that energy I feel going on around the communication. The last oracle coming in is record. And that's really interesting because look, it's almost like a calendar. Here, there's the moon. Look, oh my gosh, I just realized it. So that, look, it's this, it's this energy right here. So it's like, when are we, when are we going to have this conversation? It's being written with a feather, pen. A feather is here, an angel is near. We know that Archangel Gabriel is here. Archangel Raphael is here. It's the moon energy. It's clarity. It's the truth. There's the window here. It's like, yeah, window, you look, you look out, you look in. It's the home energy. So it could even be literally around scheduling things. If you're going to meet in person, writing it down, look, there's the ink. But this is also really connecting with the energy that's already here of this person just coming here to like making plans to communicate because <laughs> that's just really clear. I think I've said everything I've needed to say. It's one of these readings today. I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages. Actually, I think I want to bring in something else today. And then we'll bring in the tarot closet little love notes. What do you want to say to your person? Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Which is, oh, three is the most I take. Which is very much here. The release, <laughs> literally, the freedom, the awakening energy from the ego, the death card. It just couldn't be any clearer. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, it's also connecting, look, to the King of Cups, to the Manifest, to the Upright Emperor, and to the reframe of how communicating in a new way. Let's look at this. It's like getting perspective around here, the emotions. It's literally, the look at the emotions. It's framing a house. Your connection could be literal, like sense of where you live, you know, but... The moon here, the emotions, which has been incredibly strong in your reading today. So reframing it, you can see it. It's like getting perspective. And it's right next to the King of Cups manifest, the Emperor, King of Pentacles. Of this person preparing, you know, and yeah, just seeing, getting perspective. We already know that. Five of Wands in reverse and the moon in reverse. The clarity that they're getting. Just even uprighting. The judgment energy having been uprighted. This is happening. I know I messed up everything. Can we have this conversation? I am I'm understanding now. I see I I understand what you were saying. I know what you're saying. I know I messed up everything. This is all connected, obviously. Why is this card trying to wiggle away? The timing just wasn't right for us. Interesting. I couldn't let you get close to me, so that's going to be something real particular. And I tell you, there's definitely the energy around the emotions for sure. So whether it's distance for some of you, just total fear of those emotions or commitment or there's other people involved, they regret it. We already know that. But the emotional holding back, whether it was playing the biggest part or it just became such a big thing, which it is now, is really clearly here. And it's, revert, it's going the opposite direction now. You were the best thing in my life. And I know that. Look, the awakening. 
getting out of their own ego to even admit it to themselves. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, and now they want to tell you I'm so attracted to you. Okay. I think I want to bring in some more. I replay. Okay, that's why. Look, it's going into a bottoms up. Look what's below it. Okay. So this is where it is. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's also connected to our awakened energy because this person is waking up in the night for sure. A lot of nocturnal energy here. Emotions, the star energy, the clarity, trying to get clarity and truth. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. You were the best thing in my life. I, and this is what I wanted to show you. It connected with I know I messed up everything. This is literally the reframe here. So strong. I wish I could take back my words. That's also the five of swords and the regret and the lovers in reverse. I replay our conversations over and over. This is so, so, so clear. This is happening. The tarot closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. Just the way those messages came in today. Really matter of fact. I need you. Look here with manifest in the emperor who literally you know, um, is a leader, makes that happen. Our cardinal sign Aries, the emperor, who is assertive, likes to get their own way. You are my soulmate. I need you. You are my soulmate. So that's also connecting with what they, the awakening energy and what they realized here in that regret of the lovers in reverse, because that the soulmate energy is still there. That doesn't change. If you're on a twin flame journey, the energy is here too. This might mean something different for you. The twin flame journey is, is not the same thing, you know, as just a breakup energy. I think you probably know that. But anyway, if you, if you think you might be on a twin flame journey or you know, I definitely recommend also checking out the twin flame readings in the description. As I say that, you are my other half. It's the soulmate energy. And also, should you be... On a twin flame journey, you think you might be. That energy is also there. This person is seeing you as their soulmate. I saw someone who looked like you. I went with, I am so attracted to you. I close my eyes and imagine you are here with me. So it's a lot of that nocturnal energy here as well. That's literally here. Look, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Awaken. We know that upright of judgment, but it's also a connection to literally waking up in the night, which has just been a really strong energy with the decks that I chose for you today with the moon and the stars, fate and destiny, emotions. Speaking of which, I'm sorry I hurt you. And the apology is really strong in this uprighted judgment energy, asking for forgiveness. I need time to heal. I think this might be coming from your energy. Are you thinking of me too? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I know I messed up everything. I wish I could take back my words. I replay our conversations over and over. Are you thinking of me too? Whoa. You're lost. Channeled love message, message from their higher self. I'm sorry I ghosted you. So, an apology. Another apology. I mean, it's strong here. This is what they want to end on. I'm sorry I ghosted you. You were the best thing in my life. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So what's that around? You know, could be for some of you it's something... Far um, more than ego and ego and fear, you know. Timing is an issue for some of you. The timing just wasn't right for us. How this person left. I'm sorry I ghosted you. That's the Eight of Cups, by the way. Yeah, around the emotions, the love, Saturn and Pisces energy. Beautiful soul, that's your reading today. Thank you for joining me. 
As always, it's my honor to channel for you. And as always, I really enjoy channeling for you. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribe to the Tarot Closet. If you don't have your notifications on, definitely turn those on so you know when readings are coming that might be of interest to you. Thank you again. I'm sending you love and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.